God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. For all the saints who from the heavens rest, who thee by faith before the world confessed, thy name, O Jesus, be forever blessed. Alleluia, Alleluia. Surrender to God, and he will do everything for you. Do not fret because of the wicked. Do not envy those who do evil, for they wither quickly like grass and fade like the green of the fields. If you trust in the Lord and do good, then you will live in the land and be secure. If you find your delight in the Lord, he will grant your heart's desire. Commit your life to the Lord. Trust in him and he will act, so that your justice breaks forth like the light, your cause like the noonday sun. Be still before the Lord and wait in patience. Do not fret at the man who prospers, a man who makes evil plots to bring down the needy and the poor. Calm your anger and forget your rage. Do not fret, it only leads to evil. For those who do evil shall perish, the patient shall inherit the land. A little longer, and the wicked shall have gone. Look at his place, he is not there. But the humble shall own the land, and enjoy the fullness of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Surrender to God, and, and he, he will do everything for you. Turn away from evil and learn to do God's will. The Lord will strengthen you if you obey him. The wicked man plots against the just and gnashes his teeth against him. But the Lord laughs at the wicked, for he sees that his day is at hand. The sword of the wicked is drawn. His bow is bent to slaughter the upright. Their sword shall pierce their own hearts, and their bows shall be broken to pieces. The just man's few possessions are better than the wicked man's wealth. For the power of the wicked shall be broken, and the Lord will support the just. He protects the lives of the upright. Their heritage will last forever. They shall not be put to shame in evil days. In time of famine, their food shall not fail. But all the wicked shall perish, and all the enemies of the Lord. They are like the beauty of the meadows. They shall vanish. They shall vanish like smoke. The wicked man borrows without repaying, but the just man is generous and gives. Those blessed by the Lord shall own the land, but those he has cursed shall be destroyed. The Lord guides the steps of a man and makes safe the path of one he loves. Though he stumble, he shall never fall, for the Lord holds him by the hand. I was young, and now I am old, but I have never seen the just man forsaken, nor his children begging for bread. All the day he is generous and lends, and his children become a blessing. Then turn away from evil and do good, and you shall have a home forever. For the Lord loves justice, and will never forsake his friends. The unjust shall be wiped out forever, and the children of the wicked destroyed. The just shall inherit the land, there they shall live forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, 
and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Turn away from evil and learn to do God's will. The, the Lord will strengthen you if you obey him. Wait for the Lord to lead, then follow in his way. The just man's mouth utters wisdom, and his lips speak what is right. The law of his God is in his heart. His steps shall be saved from stumbling. The wicked man watches for the just and seeks occasion to kill him. The Lord will not leave him in his power, nor let him be condemned when he is judged. Then wait for the Lord, keep to his way. It is he who will free you from the wicked, raise you up to possess the land, and see the wicked destroyed. I have seen the wicked triumphant, towering like a cedar of Lebanon. I passed by again, he was gone. I searched, he was nowhere to be found. See the just man, mark the upright, for the peaceful man a future lies in store. But sinners shall all be destroyed, no future lies in store for the wicked. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord, their stronghold in time of distress. The Lord helps them and delivers them and saves them, for their refuge is in him. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Wait for the Lord to lead. Then follow in his way. Teach me goodness and holy wisdom, for I have put my trust in your guidance. From the book of Proverbs, does not wisdom call and understanding raise her voice? On the top of the heights along the road, at the crossroads she takes her stand, by the gates at the approaches of the city, in the entryways she cries aloud, To you, O men, I call. My appeal is to the children of men. You simple ones gain resource. You fools gain sense. I wisdom, dwell with experience, and judicious knowledge I attain. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Pride, arrogance, the evil way, and the perverse mouth I hate. Mine are counsel and advice. Mine is strength. I am understanding. By me kings reign and lawgivers establish justice. By me, princes govern, and nobles, all the rulers of earth. Those who love me, I also love, and those who seek me, find me. With me are riches and honor, enduring wealth and prosperity. My fruit is better than gold, yes, than pure gold, and my revenue than choice silver. On the way of duty I walk along the paths of justice, granting wealth to those who love me and filling their treasuries. The Lord begot me, the firstborn of his ways, the forerunner of his prodigies of long ago. From of old I was poured forth at the first before the earth, when there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no fountains or springs of water, before the mountains were settled into place, before the hills, I was brought forth. While as yet the earth and the fields were not made, nor the first clods of the world. When he established the heavens, I was there, when he marked out the vault over the face of the deep, when he made firm the skies above, when he fixed 
fast the foundations of the earth, when he set for the sea its limit, so that the waters should not transgress his command. Then was I beside him as his craftsman, and I was his delight day by day, playing before him all the while, playing on the surface of his earth, and I found delight in the sons of men. So now, O children, listen to me, Instruction and wisdom do not reject. Happy the man who obeys me, and happy those who keep my ways. Happy the man watching daily at my gates, waiting at my doorposts, for he who finds me finds life and wins favor from the Lord. But he who misses me harms himself. All who hate me love death. In the beginning, before he made the earth, the Lord created me. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Lord created me. From an old Slavonic life of Constantine. Constantine, already burdened by many hardships, became ill. At one point, during his extended illness, he experienced a vision of God and began to sing this verse. My spirit rejoiced and my heart exulted because they told me we shall go into the house of the Lord. Afterward, he remained dressed in the vestments that were to be venerated later and rejoiced for an entire day, saying, From now on, I am not the servant of the emperor or of any man on earth, but of Almighty God alone. Before I was dead, now I am alive, and I shall live forever. Amen. The following day, he assumed the monastic habit and took the religious name Cyril. He lived the life of a monk for 50 days. When the time came for him to set out from this world to the peace of his heavenly homeland, he prayed to God with his hands outstretched and his eyes filled with tears. O oh Lord my God, you have created the choirs of angels and spiritual powers. You have stretched forth the heavens and established the earth, creating all that exists from nothing. You hear those who obey your will and keep your commands in holy fear. Hear my prayer and protect your faithful people, for you have established me as their unsuitable and unworthy servant. Keep them free from harm and the worldly cunning of those who blaspheme you. Build up your church and gather all into unity. Make your people known for the unity and profession of their faith. Inspire the hearts of your people with your word and your teaching. You called us to preach the gospel of your Christ and to encourage them to lives and works pleasing to you. I now return to you, your people, your gift to me. Direct them with your powerful right hand and protect them under the shadow of your wings. May all praise and glorify your name, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Once he had exchanged the gift of peace with everyone, he said, Blessed be God, who did not hand us over to our invisible enemy, but freed us from his snare and delivered us from perdition. He then fell asleep in the Lord at the age of 42. The Patriarch commanded all those in Rome, both the Greeks and Romans, to gather for his funeral. They were to chant over him together and carry candles. They were to celebrate his funeral as if he had been a pope. This they did. You spoke to your saints and told them, I have exalted one chosen from the people. I have found David my servant. With my holy oil I have anointed him. The power of my hand will be with him. I will give you shepherds after my own heart. They will nourish you on knowledge and understanding. With my holy oil I have anointed him. The power of my hand will be with him. Let us pray. Father, you brought the light of the gospel to the Slavic nations through St. Cyril and his brother St. Methodius. 
Open our hearts to understand your teaching and help us to become one in faith and praise. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. And give him thanks.